Hey everybody, I'm here in Boston. I mean, it's really quite chilly. I should have had a jacket on. We're going to talk about an interesting phenomenon that is happening up here in the New England area, and that is cold stunned sea turtles. In particular, let's look at the turtles off of Cape Cod. Now, Turtles are actually interesting because they're cold-blooded. They want to stick around warm water. What we notice is that the turtles move north with the summer and they move south as the winter comes. So around November, the turtles are heading south. But look at the shape of Cape Cod. Basically, it's shaped like a giant turtle death trap. The turtles know which way is south based on the magnetic field. And if you have a giant spit of sand, which is what Cape Cod is, the turtles can't figure out how to migrate around that tip. And when it gets cold, they get hypothermic and then they get stranded and wind pushes them up on the beaches. So it's really sad. And that's where the work of the New England Aquarium starts. They have a sea turtle rescue facility in Quincy, Massachusetts that I got to visit. It's a rainy day in Boston. Here, they get hundreds of these hypothermic, cold-stunned sea turtles in from the Cape. Most are these turtles, the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. They're the most endangered sea turtle in the world. And because they're so endangered, they want to make sure they help bring them back to good health and then release them into the wild. I got it. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. To do that, they have an entire facility to help them get healthy as quickly as possible. For instance, in this room, the vets and volunteers take vitals from the turtles. They give them fluids and assess their health. Over here, they're warmed slowly in incubation chambers. Uh, if they're colder than 55, we bring them right up to 55, and then every day they come up five degrees. This tank is used to assess their swimming and overall health. Then, in these larger tanks, the water is at a higher temperature, and they get to start them swimming more and eating. Apparently, they really like squid. From here, they're ready to be moved out to get south for the winter. Wonderful people in the community volunteer to either fly them in planes or drive them south to be released into the warmer waters. And that's the story of the rehab for these cold stunned sea turtles. The bigger question you might be asking when you learn that this is on the rise is why? The truth is the answer is still a little bit fuzzy. They have scientists on the task. But it may be in part because the numbers of these sea turtles are actually rebounding. And that is a success story. The problem is, the shape of the cape is not changing. But with more sea turtles, you'll probably get more strandings. The good news is that the good people here at the Aquarium Sea Turtle Rescue Facility are doing great things to help the individuals that do get caught and making sure they continue to nurture the ever-increasing numbers of these sea turtles. That's a wrap. I'm gonna leave links to more about what the New England Aquarium and this center is doing in the description down below. And we'll see you in the next episode. I'm going to be putting wildlife videos out regularly on this channel in 2019, so stay tuned for my big update video in a couple weeks. To make sure you get notified, hit that little bell. They had a leatherback sea turtle. Unfortunately, it didn't make it. There's that. Heck, it's killing me. Never been rear-ended before. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs>